welcome back to my youtube channel i am charity nicole also known as the green mama and today i'm going to give you guys a couple tips on how to travel while pregnant um, at time of filming today i am 30 weeks 10 weeks left getting really really excited and i'm going back to san diego for a short little trip just to kind of reset see some friends and family so i'm really 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 excited about that but there are some precautions that you have to take while being pregnant, so I just want to talk to you guys about those real quick. So obviously, um, COVID is still alive and well. <laughs> People are still getting sick. It's not um, the main thing that's on the news anymore because of all the um, protests and riots that are going on throughout the country, but it is definitely still um, out there. So I have my mask. I hate these things, I really, really do, but um, I have to wear them and I actually don't mind wearing it on the plane because I feel like plane air is disgusting anyways. All those people circulated air. So I have my mask, I have a couple more in my purse. So these will be worn as soon as I get to the airport all throughout my flight and then through the airport in San Diego. I also got baby aspirin. This was recommended by my doctors. It's just the little 81 milligrams. I'm I'm an idiot and I actually went to Walmart and was like looking in the baby section and was like, where's the baby aspirin? I had to go like talk to the pharmacist and I guess there's no such thing as actual aspirin for babies. This baby aspirin is just because it's only 81 milligrams. So don't be like me and actually look for aspirin for babies. They're just talking about like low dosage aspirin. I also got these compression socks. I guess that's the biggest worry um, about flying while pregnant. So that's why they say take the baby aspirin and then do the compression socks. And that just helps um, lower the chances of blood clots. Obviously you don't want that. I'm in Phoenix flying to San Diego. I'm literally gonna be in the air for 45 minutes. I don't even think they get to 30,000 feet. So I'm really not too worried, but I am still taking the precautions because I'm so far along. So baby aspirin compression socks, I'm gonna be all good. Um, some other fun things that I got, just because this is my first time really having a vlog while traveling. Um, I don't know if everybody knows what Five Below is, but I love Five Below. It's like a dollar store, but $5. Everything is $5 or under. I got this super cool little like selfie thing that I can have so I can walk around. Um, in the airport, I got another selfie light because I lost my last one. And I also made sure that I got some headphones. They are green, of course, so that I can vibe out and listen to my music when I am on the plane. So I think I'm pretty much ready um, with all these things. My cousin's on her way to pick me up so we can go to the airport soon. Um, another thing I got from Five Below, I forgot. Um, was this beautiful green blanket. And the reason I got this, um, I mean, pretty obvious, the planes can be cold sometimes. It's burning up in Arizona. It's, I know it's not this hot in San Diego, but um, I'm always cold anyways. So um, I definitely wanted to get a blanket. Usually I fly Delta because my dad used to work for Delta before COVID um, and they always give blankets. But today I'm flying American and it's not guaranteed that they'll give me a blanket even though I am pregnant. I'm actually really curious to see what perks and things are going to happen today while I'm pregnant. So I'll tell you guys more about that. But this blanket I got from Five Below. It's super soft. Um, really thin i'm just throwing it in my carry-on until i need it um, for the plane but yeah make sure that if you're flying especially longer flights you have some kind of light jacket or blanket that you can use because you know um, you don't want to be uncomfortable on the plane pretty much like you're already pregnant you're you're already uncomfortable in general so um you know do whatever you can bring whatever you need to bring so that you're as comfortable as possible if you are traveling while pregnant, especially in the third trimester, please, please, please be sure to talk to your doctor first um, and make sure that it's okay. I talked to her at my 28 week appointment and asked her if it was okay. And then I had an appointment yesterday and just verified again, hey, I wanna travel, is this okay? And she gave me the green light. So I'm very excited. I haven't been to San Diego since I moved here. Um, so since the end of February, none of my friends have really seen 
my belly in person, you know, pictures never really do it justice. So I'm really, really, really excited and wish me luck, guys. Something that I saw on another uh, traveling vlog while pregnant, and I definitely agree with. I opted out of the scanner. Um, like I said, I am 30 weeks, and I just feel like that little scanner thing. I don't know what kind of radiation it puts in your body or whatever. So I just got the pat down. It is what it is. So I'm here. I'm on the plane. Priority boarding because I'm fat and pregnant, but you know, it is what it is. I'm supposed to be in the middle seat. There's not a lot of people on this flight, so hopefully, I can stay here in the aisle so that I can do my little lap when I need to. But we shall see, we shall see. Wish me luck. 